The Missoula Mercantile is coming down. We've known that for some time. Still, it comes as a shock to step inside the building vacant for more than a decade and see just how quickly crews are deconstructing the iconic building. Brick by brick, board by board. But it's not going to waste. Those boards? They're still in great condition. We're logging in here for sure. That's Jason Knuckles. He's the deconstruction manager with Home Resource, a Missoula business that specializes in combing through old buildings for salvage. He says the Merc is worth its weight in gold. A lot of it's clear fur, rough cut lumber, stuff that you just can't find anymore um, uh, because the trees that, that were used to make this stuff above me just aren't, uh, they're not available anymore. Most of these trees were cut just right in our backyard, right here in the, the local foothills of Missoula. That lumber, once it's been cleared of nails and all the rough edges have been squared up, will be sold back to the community. For Knuckles, that means even though the iconic building will be gone, the legacy of the Merc will continue. Of course, there's a lot more inside the old building to save than wood. The original vault safe, um, there's a beautiful cast iron spiral staircase in here. Uh, of course, the copper awning out front. But those items won't go to home resource, at least not right away. Home Base Montana, the development firm planning a new hotel on the Merck site, hopes to incorporate those items into its design. They're also hoping to save some of the human history of the building, like this graffiti found in the basement. It's not vandalism. It's a tradition almost as old as the mercantile itself. Employees would write their names on the walls in the basement of the old building, starting in 1899 and going all the way to 2010. And yes, deconstruction of this Missoula icon is a bitter pill for many to swallow. Knuckles says he's grateful for the chance to salvage what he can, and says the alternative is tragedy. A lot of buildings like this have been imploded and gone by the wayside, so um, I'm proud that uh, you know years from now we'll be able to look back and say that um, we, even though we, you know, we don't have a choice in what happens to this building, um, we were able to take it apart the right way and, and make sure the material stayed with the community. So. In Missoula, Eric Clements, MTN News.